Hello, sports fans. It's me, Sportsman Z. I'm here with the fifth and deciding game in our series between the California Angels of 1983 and the 1989 Kansas City Royals. This game has moved back to Kansas City for the fifth and deciding game. The winner here, it's winner take all. The winner here moves on to the next round and will take on the 1988 Oakland A's in the American League Championship of the um, round robin bracket. And the loser, of course, goes home and they're out. So California is a nice Cinderella story. Um, 1983 California Angels only won 70 games. Yet they've already made it through two rounds against superior opponents and are taking a third superior opponent to the fifth game, which is this one right here. On the mound today for the California Angels will be Mike Witt. He was 7-14 in 1983 with a 491 earned run average. And on the mound for Kansas City will be Mark Gubiza, who was 15 and 11 with a 304 earned run average in 1989. This was the game one matchup, and of course, game one went to Kansas City. Kansas City having won the first two games, and then California won the last two. And so here we go with the opening pitch. Gubiza is done with his warm ups, and we have the opening pitch of. The fifth and deciding game to Juan Beniquez. And he gets a 4-6, which is a strikeout. One away. Bobby Gritch gets a 1-6, which is a single. So that is the first hit for the Angels. Rod Carew is up. He gets a 6-2. That's a ground or that is a ground ball C to uh, first base. Two away, runner at second, and Fred Lynn up. And he gets a 2-6, which is a fly ball to center field. And the Angels go 1-2-3 there, no runs. Well, not really. They don't go 1-2-3. They did get a hit. but um, So, yeah, Kansas City is up. Gary Thurman at the plate to lead off. He gets a 3-7. That's a strikeout. If you remember Gary Thurman replacing Willie Wilson, who got injured and missed the rest of this series, and I believe he will miss the rest of the tournament as well. Kevin Seitzer is up. He gets a 3-9, which is a strikeout. Two away. And George Brett gets a 2-7, and that is a single. So Kansas City gets their first hit. And that brings up Bo Jackson. Bo knows, and he gets a strikeout. He knows he's going back to the dugout. No runs for Kansas City in the first. We go to the top of the second. Doug DeSense up. He gets a 4-6, and that is a strikeout. One away. Daryl Sconiers gets a 6-6, six, six, and that is a pop-out to second base. And in case you're wondering, uh, or you missed the last game, Sconiers is replacing Reggie Jackson. Reggie Jackson's a healthy scratch. He just wasn't doing well. And Sconiers gets on base better. And then Brian Downing comes up, and he gets a walk. So, yeah, runner on. And Bob Boone up, and he gets a 4-8. And that is a ground ball to the second baseman. The second baseman is a two for Kansas City, and that's a four. I believe that's an out, and it is. So we will go to the bottom of the second. And Jim Eisenreich facing Mike Witt. Four, eight. That's a home run, one to nine. And it is. Home run for Jim Eisenreich. That is Kansas City's first run of the game. Now 
Hardable is up. He gets a 2 8, which is a strikeout. One away. Mike McFarland gets a 2 8, which is a fly ball to left field. That's two down. And Frank White comes up. He gets a 4 9, and that is a fly ball to left field. So, other than the solo home run to lead off the inning by Eisenreich, Witt had a pretty good inning there. Tim Foley is up for California. He gets a 3-5, which is a ground ball to the shortstop. He's retired. Beniquez comes up. He gets a 2-6, and that's a single. So Juan Beniquez is aboard. The Angels have their second hit. Bobby Gritch gets a 5-7. That is a strikeout. Two down. And Rod Carew gets a 4-2. And that's a ground ball to second. He is a 2. That's Frank White. That's a 9. And he's out. So the Angels get no runs there. We go briskly to the bottom of the third. The game moving right along. Stillwell is up at the plate. He gets a 2-9, which is a triple 1-12 or a double. And that is going to be a triple. And you know what? The Angels have a pretty high-powered offense, so what they're going to do is they're not going to bring the infield in. They're just going to see what happens. Gary Thurman up. 2-8. That's a strikeout. So now there's one away. Kevin Seitzer is up. And, by the way, I think we need to update this because that was a hit by Kansas City. And that is a 2-7, which is a walk. And so now Seitzer is on, and they definitely will not bring the infield in because this could set up the double play for them. George Brett at the plate. He gets a 1-4. That's a single one to nine. And that is actually a single. So that's another hit. And another run for Kansas City. And they now lead 2-0. Bo Jackson up. He gets a 4-5. That is a single. Bases are loaded. Eisenreich, who homered last time, gets a 4-11, which is a ground ball to the first baseman. And the first baseman is Carew, and he's a 4. That's a 20 and a 4 at first base. That's a two-base error. So, uh, two more runs come in. And on an air by California. And now the infield will come in. Tartable up. He gets a 5-5, which is a ground ball C, two away. And McFarland at the plate gets a 6-6, six, six, and that's a ground ball second baseman. That's Gritch. He's a 2. That is a 7, and he will be out. But not before the uh, Royals... Score three in the third and now take a 4 nothing lead. That Angels offense needs to come uh, to the forefront now because they are in a little bit of trouble. Fred Lynn gets a 6-6. That's a pop out to second, one away. Doug DeSensei gets a 6-8. That's a, that's a single. One out, one on. Sconier's up. He gets a 6-2. That is a ground ball, first base C. Moves the runner to second. There's two down. And Downing is up, and he gets a 4-3, which is a strikeout. So no runs come in for California. We go to the bottom of the fourth. Frank White is up. 
He gets a 6-6. Six, six. That is a ground ball to second base. He's a 2. And he is out. Stillwell comes up. He gets a 5-10. That is a ground ball to the shortstop. The shortstop is a 3. That is a 5. Probably an out. And it is. 2 away. And Gary Thurman is up. And he gets a 3-3. Three, three, which is a ground ball to the shortstop. So no runs for Kansas City in the fourth, but they have a four nothing lead as we go to the top of the fifth and boom, batting. He gets a single. Fourth hit for California. Tim Foley up. He gets a 2-12, which is a fly ball, right field B, one away. Benica is up. He gets a 4-6. That's a strikeout, two away. Gubaza has been on top of his game today. Gritch gets a 6-6, and that is a pop-out to second base. We go to the bottom of the fifth. Kansas City ahead, 4-0. Sights are up. He gets a 2-10, which is a ground ball to third, one away. George Brett gets a 5-8. That's a strikeout, two away. And Bo Jackson gets a 6-8, and that's a walk. And there's the runner at first. Eisenreich gets a 2-7, ground ball to third base. And that is the end of the inning for Kansas City. They get no runs. But again, they have four, and Gubazai isn't allowing much of anything for California. Rod Carew up. He gets a 1-7, and he singles. Trying to atone for the two-base error, the very costly two-base error that he made back in, the, um, back in the third inning. Fred Lynn is up. He gets a 5-8. That's a fly ball to right, one away. Doug DeSensei gets a 1-8. That is a home run 1-5 to five or a double. And that is going to be a double. They really needed the home run right there, but they need more runs than that anyway. So uh, that is California's fifth hit. Runners are now at second and third with only one down. And Sconier is up, and he gets a 2-5, which is a fly ball to center field B. That will score the runner. And there's now two down. And that is California's first run of the game. Downing up. He gets a 110 and he pops out to third. So we go to the bottom of the sixth. With the score, 4-1. to one. Tartable up. He gets a 110. That is a ground ball shortstop. So he's retired. McFarland is up. He gets a 6-10. That's a walk. Frank White gets a 2-10, which is a ground ball B. And now he is aboard at first base with two down. And Stillwell gets a 4-3, which is a walk. And that brings up Gary Thurman. He gets a 1-7, which is a triple 1-5 to five or a single double asterisk. That's going to be a triple. Unbelievable. Kansas City triple. Uh, Thurman triples in two runs. And now Kansas City has a 6-1 to one lead. And Seitzer comes up. And that's a 3-5 strikeout. So we go to the top of the seventh. Uh, California has their work cut out for them. They're down by five with Boone up at the plate. Four nine is a single though. So he does lead off with a single. Sixth hit for California. 
Kansas City also has six hits, but they've been a lot more economical and uh, devastating with theirs. Foley comes up. He gets a 1-8, which is a pop-out to second, one away. Beniquez gets a 5-7, which is a strikeout, two away. And Gritch gets a 3-11. That's a fly ball to center field. No runs come in for California. We go to the bottom of the seventh. And uh, Witt will be out. He probably should have been out before this. But really, that hasn't been as big. Uh, I mean, that's been part of the problem. But California also hasn't scored any runs. Or, well, they've scored one. But they haven't scored nearly as many or gotten on as much as they have needed to. And they will bring in Bruce Keeson. In relief, George he'll face George Brett to lead the inning off. And he gets a 1-8, which is a ground ball to short, one away. Jackson comes up, he gets a 6-5. That's a triple one to nine or a double. That's gonna be a double. Seventh hit for Kansas City. Eisenreich comes up. He gets a 1-3 and he pops out to second base, two away. And Tartable gets a 6-11, which is a, ground, it was a fly ball to right field. And the right fielder is, you would imagine, not very good. He No, he is. He's a 2. But that's an 11 and that's, that's bad news. 11 and 2 in the outfield is a single 2. So with two outs, Kansas City scores another key run. Well, maybe it isn't, but. And that brings up Mike McFarland, and he gets a 4 12. 4 12 is a strikeout. So Keeson came in, but didn't really help matters much, and we go to the top of the eighth. With California losing 7-1, to one, and batting against Gubaza, who is not giving them much of anything. To work with, Carew is up. He gets a 4-9, which is a single. Fred Lynn. Gets a 3-6, which is a single. Maybe this is the start of something, though, for California. Maybe this is their comeback. Doug DeCince gets a 4-8. That is a ground ball to the second baseman. He's a 2, though. That is a 16. That might be bad. That might be an error on Frank White. It is indeed an error on Frank White. So now the bases are loaded. Kansas City has their first air of the game. No runs have come in yet, but there are no outs. And Stone Ears is up at the plate, and he gets a 5-5, which is a fly ball right field or center field C. So one out, and nobody can advance. Downing is up. He gets a 3-7, which is a ground ball third base B. They didn't have the infield in because they didn't need to, so a run does score, but there are now two outs. And Bob Boone at the plate, 5-7, strikeout. So they only got the one run. They're still down by five, so they're still in trouble. And up steps Frank White. And he gets a 2-3, which is a ground ball to short. He's out. Still well at the plate. He gets a 1-9, which is a ground ball to first. He's out. And Thurm Gary Thurman's up, and he gets a triple one to five single. And he gets a single. So he's been key. He has actually filled in admirably for Wilson. He's been getting on base. And uh, Seitzer is up, and he gets a 5 10, which is a fly ball center field. 
That's Lynn. He is a 2. And that's a 13. He's out. So they get no runs. We go to the top of the ninth. And really, uphill battle here. Gubaza still out there, as you might expect. And California finds themselves needing five runs right here. Uh, with Tim Foley up, they're going to look for a pinch hitter, but there's no guarantee they will even find one. Jackson wouldn't be the guy because they don't really need a home run right now. They need somebody who can get on base. Now, there's really nobody better than um, Foley to pinch hit right now. So that's a 4-9, which is a single, and he gets on anyway. So that's California's ninth hit. Man aboard. Benitez gets a 3-12, which is a fly ball left field B. One away. Bobby Gritch is up. He gets a 2-6, which is a walk. So California may be mounting that comeback that they really need. Still five runs down. Carew up. He gets a 4-10. That's going to be a single. So the bases are again loaded for California. This time they've got to do more than score one run. And it has to happen right here with um, Doug DeSensei up. He gets a 6-9. That is a single and scores another run. Eleventh hit. And that brings up uh, Sconiers who gets a ground ball third base B. They didn't have the infield in. So a run does score, but there's two out. And now they need three runs. If they get a three-run homer here by Downing, that would be great. They need it. But that's a 6-8, and that's going to be a single double asterisk. So that is another run. And now it's 7-5. to five. They're only down by two. Bob Boone up the plate. But he is out. He hits a ground ball to the shortstop. California makes a valiant comeback attempt, but it falls a little bit short, and they lose game five, seven to five. And so the 1989 Kansas City Royals will advance to play the 88 A's in the American League Championship of the Round Robin Tournament. And that is it for me, Sportsman Z, Bob Zolke, signing off.